Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech where we are currently working on getting a few repairs done. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to deploy before the financial report. That and that makes me complete. very sad here. Top I mean, we could, so but we fast. we would lack the Black Knight Crossbow X and the Archer 5S being at full armor. And I kind of don't want to do that. The Crossbow X is a big part of our damage output in particular. And I think we're better off just waiting, to be honest. So let's hop into our engineering here and get a, another upgrade going. This is our final upgrade. Right, so let's get going right on that. I will be saying that we will put an end to this series fairly soon. Fairly soon. But for now, let's just keep going for the moment. I do think that at this point, now that we have all of the upgrades unlocked, maybe our goal should be like we get to 15 or 20 million and then we, we end it there. That might be the plan. But for the time being, we've got more work to do. So we're going to finish up the Black Knight, Crossbow S, X, and Archer. Sure, Dr. Murad can borrow Romeo, probably. Well, Romeo pilots at the Nidhogg. Hmm. No lasting consequences. Fantastic. So that is good. We're going to deploy immediately. We're on day 29 here. We've got a lot of time. So we're going to hop into the barracks, and we're going to get any Mech Warrior promotions that we can. First up, a point of guts for Capo. Looks good. What else do we have here? Yes, Commander. Orders. Not a whole lot, it looks like. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Our Mech Warriors are getting pretty advanced at this point. No doubt about that. Well, let's see what we've got here. This is a solo duel. I don't really want to do a solo duel. This is a battle against Davian. We only have time to load 400 tons. Okay, we'll avoid that for now. The local pirate organization here. They're not the only ones interested in this lance either, apparently. Well, we could definitely run this about here and just look to make as much money as possible out of this. Let's do it. What could possibly go wrong? I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Darius thinks it'll be hard. We'll see if he's right about that. I'll see you guys after the loading screen. So here we are all loaded up. That took a hot minute to load, so we'll see what we're up against. We know that we are expecting Command other people to be interested in this lance too, though. Not just the pirates. This is an interesting spot to be landing, for sure. Our allies have been pinned down. There are additional dropships on the way in. And we are going to probably end up... Okay, this is a lot of talking. Okay, so there's an invasion force up over here. Are these the pirates or is this the lands? Okay, so this is the pirate invasion force. This must be the ally lands. Yes. We should probably spawn grouped up with them, although the game recommended spawning out over here. And this is interesting because we do have LOS out this way and we can head up this direction and try to intercept them up over here. I think I'm going to do that. We'll see what we've got going on here. There's a road heading this direction that should be fairly useful. So we'll see what we've got. There's of course spawn protection in this first round. Okay. So what all do we see here? We see immediately a rocket carrier, a hunchback, a hunchback, and an ifrit. Noted. We should assume that ifrit is coming straight for us. To that end, I'm going to move forward our black knight here, and we're going to brace it. That rocket carrier, we absolutely want to blow up before it can really do anything. So the crossbow, this is the LRM crossbow, I'm going to position here and brace. Our friend the Marauder moves up a little Waiting bit. I'd like to put our archer... I guess back here is okay. Yeah, we'll put the archer what here and brace. We want to have our units not particularly okay, close together, right? So I'm going to put the crossbow up over here and brace it. There we go. And what do they got? Hang on a moment. This is an archer, a Marauder, a Stalker, and an Orion that I was not aware of. Wait, these are the ally lands? These are also pirate organization. Okay, so I guess the pirates are fighting the pirates. That makes sense. Hey so the marksman SPG is going to position out over here. 
We can't fire the sniper just yet, sadly. Hey, wait your the command. grasshopper, I'm going to move up over this direction. Rolling. And we're going to keep that in cover and braced. That Ifrit moves up a little bit, it kind of looks like it's making for these guys. Okay, we would be very happy about that. The Rifleman is going to move forward and brace. Yep. The Epimetheus, that is a little bit awkward for us to get to cover anywhere. I guess I'll just position it out over here as kind of bait. We'll see what the Ifrit ends up doing about that. That's an Atlas? Okay. Noted. Yes, Commander. There are apparently a fair amount of enemies out there. So these guys are enemy. These guys are ally. I'm not sure what these guys are up over here. They're allied. Okay. Well, that's intriguing for sure. I'm going to move the Marauder up here and brace it. That Hunchback moves forward a little bit. But what we really need at this point, of course is to advance up over here and get that Ifrit shot down. That is a very high priority. And that rocket carrier as well. The rocket carrier should be pretty easy to take down in theory. I'm going to position our Jerry Rig Demolisher here Let's with go. eight evasive. How much armor does this thing have? Yeah, very little. So we don't want to let that fire if we can at all help it. It just pulled back a little bit and up the hill. That's really, really good for us. Yes, Commander. Okay, so the Devastator is going to move up over here then. Looks good. So I'm still a little bit concerned about that Ifrit, but there's a lot of allied units here. So this Apollo moves up and does nothing in particular. Next up, we've got the Ifrit, and we've got this Hunchback. Okay, if the Ifrit engages out over here, we're likely going to leave it alone for the moment. But we'll see what it does. Only one ally lance unit must remain. Okay, so it's going for this archer. Dropping mines in this area? Sure, that seems fine. We're completely content with that happening. No problem whatsoever. So we know that this rocket carrier moves in phase 14. It needs to die before that. They fired at the Epimetheus without moving that Hunchback, so the Hunchback is probably a pretty solid target for us with no evasive. Next up is going to be our Crossbow X. I'm going to put the Crossbow X here. I want the clear side arc on this rocket carrier. Aye, aye. So 33.9% hit odds. We're going to bump this up with improved. I want this rocket carrier gone. Here we go. We'll see if that ends up working, but at the very least, we'll soften it up. Okay, it is indeed softened. Next up, we have an allied unit moving. That is going to be this Orion. It fires... Actually, it doesn't fire on the Ifrit. It sensor locks it. Oh, it does fire as well. Gets a little bit of damage in there. It narked it and triggered its AMS. This is on... What side was that? That was on the right side, which is the side facing us. Okay, that's very nice. So the crossbow is going to move up here. We're still far more concerned right now about eliminating this rocket carrier. Light him up. Copy that. Structure exposure, multiple crits. He's not gone yet. Solid connection on that one. Okay. This hunter moves up, fires also on that rocket carrier, and it's gone. Beautiful. So it takes advantage of that opportunity we created. Wonderful. So next up is the stalker. The stalker backs off, fires on that infrared. Gets a number of hits again and triggers that AMS. Noted. Only six evasive on that thing right now. So the Black Knight is going to head up over here, and we're almost certainly going to fire on this Hunchy. 61% hit odds. I'm going to fire this in binary mode. Engaging. Yeah, we got the hit. That's what we wanted to see. Perfect. Okay, next up is going to be our Rifleman. The Rifleman can position about here. I'm a little concerned about rear arc attacking our crossbow X there, but it looks like there's enough of a drop off that there's that that's not a high risk. On Solid hits there on that hunchy. I like it. On you, Next up is our archer, and the archer is going to position out over you here. Betcha. I'm not worrying about this Nidhog at this time. We're going to take on this hunchy. Uh huh. Good armor damage there, including a right, little bit of internal damage. Like I like it. So next up, we have two allied movers. We've got this Marauder, which fires on the Ifrit. 
It does a little bit of damage to it there. They're actually getting some pretty solid hits on that Ifrit right now. And then the Archer. Triggers the AMS and gets a structure exposure. Not bad. Not bad at all. Commander. So next up is our Marauder. The Marauder is going to move up here, firing on that Hunchback. We're just pouring the damage into this poor, poor Hunchback right now. Reporting critical hit. So that looks good. And Atlas moves up, but does absolutely nothing. Our Grasshopper is going to move in over here. This is a pretty long range shot for the AC-20, but we'll give it a go. Confirmed. Okay, we did miss. That's not shocking. It was under 50% hit off, so it's a long range shot. Absolutely. Next up is going to be our Epi Prime, and we're going to move that out over here. Absolutely still firing on this Hunchback. Fair amount of damage there, and taking out eight, some AC-20 oh, yeah. caseless ammo and regular AC-20 ammo. A knockdown on the Hunchy as well. So that's a lot of damage to that Hunchback, and this is now a very priority target for the AI. It also lost all of its AC-20 ammo, so it's not a very high priority target for us. This Hunchback is moving up over here, where we can't really hit it very well. Okay. Ready for the SPG, I absolutely want to fire on that Ifrit with it, if we can. Nope. No hit odds on that. Okay. In that case, I'm just going to lob the artillery at this Hunchback, and we'll see what happens. It's a low priority target, but it's what we can hit. Okay, so that looks good for now. The Devastator is going to make its way up over here or so. Mm, here. We can fire on that Hunchy, and that is what we're doing. I want this thing gone. That was a bunch more crits internally there. Medium laser destruction and the Hunchback ejects. Perfect. Yes, so next up would be our Nidhogg. Now, we're expecting an additional Lance, so I'm just going to position our Nidhogg out over here, and I'm going to fire just with the snub nose on this Hunchback. Roger. We're conserving ammo. There's going to be more, right? Almost certainly. Orders. The Jerry Rig Demolisher, on the other hand, is going to come in Got over it. here, and that's going to pot shot at this Ifrit. I don't expect to get too much out of this. I mean, we're not going to get these machine guns to fire at this range, but let's see what we get done. Actually, 50-some 50, 50 armor damage there. Not bad. Okay, incoming drop pods right behind us. Noted. So that's fine. This hunter moves up and does nothing of note. This Apollo moves up and also does nothing. Next up is going to be the Ifrit. We'll see what it decides to do here. But it's not in a great spot. That's for sure. So what do we got? It'll figure it out eventually. It's moving back this way and going for that archer again. It did get a structure exposure, but the archer is fine for now. That's absolutely okay. Next up is the Stalker. The Stalker sensor locks the Ifrit and then fires on it and shoots it down. Beautiful. So the Ifrit is out of here. All that's left from the original Lance is the Hunchback, and we do know that there's additional units on the way in. This Orion moves up, fires on that Hunchback. It's an indirect shot, and it doesn't get very much done. What so, can I do for you? we've got our Archer here. I'm going to put the Archer here. On my way. We're going to lob indirect at this Hunchback. I don't expect to get much Here out of that. Go. Okay. A small weakening of the Hunchback's armor. Nothing significant. The Marauder is moving up over there. That's fine. And then the Archer is going to fire at that Hunchy too. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about that. I'm more concerned about what's coming in here. That's for sure. Talk to me. So the Crossbow X is going to start get, getting moving out over here and face its correct side this way. There we go. That, that Atlas moves up and does absolutely nothing. Now that Hunchback is going to move, we'll see what it does. What are you going to do, Hunchy? Okay, he's just positioning out over there and firing at our Nidhogg. Sure. I'm going to disengage the Nidhogg over here anyway. So that seems fine. Next up is going to be our crossbow. This is our LRM crossbow. This is going to be a little close over here. So we might want to consider pulling it back over this way, but I don't like that aiming 
Understood. Let's put it Move here. Fast. It's still not an ideal position. I'm here. Our grasshopper is absolutely going to be interested in positioning somewhere over here. On the way. There we go. The marauder is going to be here in this cover and ready to fight. Waiting for order. The rifleman can sit back over this Hitting way. Out. There we go. Commander. The black knight up in this cover here. And we're just looking straight at these guys ready to go. We actually know where they're Commander. coming in, so that'll be great. The Nidhogg is going to position about here. Got it. With the idea being it's going to drop bombs right away right there. We Word. might get some splash damage from it, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to send our Devastator up this direction. On my way. And we're going to try yes, to flank the Hunchback around this way and see what ends up happening there. Aye, aye. But the Epimetheus Prime is absolutely going to turn and start moving this it. direction. It doesn't make it to cover, but that's fine. What's up, huh? The SPG is going to move down over here. I want to pull it back way. a little bit. And I'm going to lob an artillery at this hunchback. Heck we no. might as well. Oh, that was a terrible shot. We did do, do some damage there. So that's okay, I guess. The Jerry Rig Demolisher can get a side arc up over this way. Looking out. And we're going to fire on this hunchback. I'm not going to fire the eye rockets. Just everything else. Okay. Minor damage to the hunchback there, but that's okay. So, what do we got? We immediately see... Well, we don't actually know, because we're looking at this hunter. That's a Shrek? Okay. Awkward splash damage there. Sure. So, this is a Grasshopper. This is a Chaparral. This is a Shrek, and there's something else directly on this. I don't know what it is. But there's something else here as well. So this Apollo is moving up, firing on that Shrek. Not going to get any damage dealt. They're on 12 evasive right now. Okay, so we are going to be moving one of our units. And which one is it? Well, it's the Epimetheus Prime. Okay. This is an awkward time to move the Epimetheus Prime. If we were to move up here, we'd have really low hit odds on all of these. That Shrek is not that big of a threat. The Chaparral is a big threat. But just a single arrow four shot isn't that big of a deal. I'm going to reserve the Epimetheus here. I don't want to move it yet. So the Stalker moves over and fires at the Hunchback. I like that call. Doing a tiny amount of damage there. Phase 20. Okay. So now we're going to have a target over here. And that is going to be the one that unit that we don't know here. It's underneath the Shrek right now. It's a Hunchback? Okay. And it doesn't actually fire. So we have a target here now. The Chaparral is going to move now. I'm going to reserve again. We'll Let see what it does. Our friend the Marauder moves and doesn't do anything of note. The Chaparral could do a fair amount of damage to us here, particularly if it were to, like, hit the Crossbow X here, or the... Actually, the Crossbow would probably be a better target. But that's not going to do a catastrophic amount of damage to us. Let's see what it does. It's thinking. There's not that many options for you. Okay. Of all of the options you could have taken, nothing is not the best option here. The Epimetheus Prime can now move, and it's going to position here. We're going to fire directly at that Chaparral. Doing whatever damage we can to it for now. Hell cool. Yeah. So next up, they're going to move another one of their units here. It will be the Grasshopper. Seems fine. Current plan is to Nidhogg the vehicles over there, but the Hunchback is moving now. Also firing on the Nidhogg still. Interesting. But it turned its back to our Jerry Rig Demolisher, so that's not necessarily a good thing. Now they're going to get to move their Grasshopper here. What's that going to choose to do? It could try to DFA us. I guess that works. It's not a good choice, Standing by. but it is a choice. I'm going to position Location. our crossbow Confirm. here. We're going to fire our LRMs at this Chaparral. Light him up. Roger. Oh, 
and the chaparral is gone. Beautiful. Target neutralized. So next up, we are going to be moving. I'm not even sure if we're going to have the bombs going off here, to be honest. It's a lot of hits into that grasshopper. But the Nidhogg doesn't end up moving until uh doesn't end up moving until phase 14. I hear ya. Our archer can position here Got it. and would be able to fire on the hunchback or this hunchback. Our hit odds are best here, so I'm going to take this. Commencing alpha strike. He is cover and guarded, but we can start to chip through some of that armor. Injury resistance. Okay, that's fine. As Orion moves up, goes for that grasshopper. Doesn't get the greatest shots there, but it does narc the grasshopper, which is somewhat convenient. Next up would be our Black Knight. And yes, I'm currently thinking that the Black Knight is going to come in and hit the Shrek from the rear arc. These are terrible hit odds. Target moved plus 12. Oh, right. The Shrek hasn't actually moved yet. Okay, we should probably do that to the Hunchback instead, or the Grasshopper. We can't get behind the Hunchback. We almost certainly could, the, the Grasshopper. Oh, yeah, definitely. Rear arc the Grasshopper. Go for it. I'm That'll do a here. lot of damage. I don't know that it'll kill it, but it'll certainly hurt this Grasshopper. Oh, hell yeah, yeah, that's a lot of damage there. Like Nothing shot. significant, but we did definitely chip through a lot of armor there. Cool. So next up is our Marauder. The Marauder can mostly just kind of sit here. Probably firing on this Hunchback. Yeah, we're definitely going to fire on the Hunchy here. Mediocre damage there. 40% damage reduction. We missed one of those AC5s. That's okay. The Rifleman is going to position somewhere more like here. Roger that. I'm currently thinking about bombs on the hunt because we're chipping through these guys very quickly. So this seems absolutely fine. Next up is going to be that Shrek, and we'll see if it decides to do anything. Its compatriots haven't. They seem to have been caught by some sort of surprise by us, like, ambushing them the way we did, which is okay. I like it. But the Shrek could do something here, and... A charge could be potentially bad. Instead, it chose to do nothing at all. I'm okay. You. So we're going to take the grasshopper into the rear arc of their grasshopper. And it's super dead from this. Okay, we missed the auto cannon. That's unfortunate. Critical hit. But we did a lot of damage anyway. So that grasshopper has taken serious damage. How's it going? The Nidhogg, honestly, I'm going to go up over here and eliminate this hunchback. The with the Nidhogg. It's an awkward thing to do. I'm going to keep around to the rocket launchers, I think. Target locked in. Okay. So there we go. Yeah, we'll keep the rocket launchers just in case. But that's the invasion force gone. Now we need to eliminate the strike team, and the strike team is nearly gone, to be honest. So that Atlas is firing at that Shrek, getting very little done, to be honest, but that's okay. Next up is going to be our Jerry Rig Demolisher, which was in position to attack that Hunchback. We're going to pull it back. And then next is our Crossbow X. And the Crossbow X can move up over somewhere over here. I like this positioning. From here, we can fire on the Shrek. We can fire on the Hunchy. I'm going to hit the Shrek here. This is going to do a lot of frontal armor damage. We might take it down, but I think the odds on that are low. We'd have to really focus our fire well. Yeah, but that was good. We'll take it. So the Devastator is going to close in out over here as well. There's not much that they can do about that. And then our Marksman SPG. I'm going to fire on the Shrek, but I'm not firing the Sniper Artillery. Locked on target. Okay, 38 additional damage to it. Mech Warrior, show them what you Looks got. Looks good. Okay, so next round, when do they roll? 21, 21, and 14. So they rolled pretty early in... Or actually, that's 15. Never mind. They rolled pretty early on their Hunchback, but not really anything else. And actually, that Shrek is just gone to the Hunter. Beautiful. Good shooting. I like it. Next up is the Stalker going for that Grasshopper. This is Side Arc, but in the weakened side. They did not eliminate it. That Apollo moves up and does not fire. Okay. Now it is our Crossbow's turn. 
And the crossbow is going for the hunchy here. I'm not going to fire the LRMs in this mode. Uh, we can do like the LRM 20 in standard and then the LRM 15s in listen kill. That's what we're going to do. And that kills the hunchback. Perfect. Mech destroyed. I'm out so this is looking really solid. We've taken basically no damage, right? The Black Knight moves next and just eliminates the Grasshopper. There's no way that the Grasshopper survives this attack. It simply doesn't happen. I can't see anything, but I know it's dead. This is a terrible camera. Okay, as expected, that is a dead Grasshopper. Perfect. Is that the end of the mission, though? That's the question. I'm going to move the Epi Prime up over here. It may or may not be. There might be another Lance still. You never know. We're going to position the Nidhogg up over here for now. We need to exit this round to find out. I've got your back. So the Crossbow X is going to move up over here for now. Affirmative. That looks good. They're just running around in that minefield. <laughs> okay. Sure. I guess that's you. fine. The Devastator can park out over here, I, I suppose. We have no idea where another lance is going to be, but I Good do suspect that there is another lance coming. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Okay. So Useful. these guys are mostly just going to get into On position up over here for now, and they are going Honda. to brace. We don't know where that other lance is going to be, but there are no enemies on the field right now. Good to go. So who do we have to move yet? The grasshopper? Okay, sure. We're going to position that right up over here and brace it. What do you need? And the jerry rig demolisher. That can just get down into this cover. Okay, more company, more inbound drop pods over here. Gotcha. In that case, we should prepare for that, and we should also probably put a cut in here. It is about time for that, and we'll see what ends up happening with that. We'll get any repairs that we need to done next episode as well. Should be absolutely fine in theory. We also might obliterate them in four seconds. We'll see. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Kintogan, Ali Lee, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Sockerman 12 uk and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.